advanced hydrogen this is a Dodge 24 valve Cummings diesel um, we had to shut the engine off because I can't even talk with it running uh, this is my NOx analyzer what this uh, checks the NOx this diesel we're putting the hydrogen cell on it uh, this you, this diesel truck has never had hydrogen run in it. The NOx went all the way to 318, which I see it go that high with uh, semi trucks. So right now it's ambient at like 11 because the hoses are on. If I take this hose off, it'll settle all the way down to zero. But this went to 318. So what we're gonna do is um, he's going on a trip to Arizona. I've got a uh, oh, let's see. When I do that at 13 plate, six by six cell. We're only gonna run it like about. Oh, 25 to 30 amps around there. I figured a hot 30. We don't want to really push it too much because I'm trying to do some experiments with, uh, um, you know, less hydrogen and see what the effects are on the NOx. Um, I'll do more videos on NOx. I'll explain what NOx is. But right now, I'm just going to show the install on this, and I'll just do uh, some different videos. This will be video number one. Is this is the reservoir that. Uh, a friend of mine built the same fellow that owns his truck. He actually a friend of mine. He owns, he owns a welding shop. So we're gonna see if we can work a deal and have these things made, um, and maybe we can sell them. Uh, what it is is here's the uh, reservoir. This is all stainless steel. <clears throat> this is the reservoir, and this is the bubbler. And he has a sight glass on the bubbler on this side. And then this actually goes into the engine. So this is actually bubbling. Uh, the tube for the um, Reservoir goes down inside. Of course, it bubbles, you know. But the cool thing about it is, is that when this side gets low on water, it creates a vacuum and it sucks the distilled water, which is always going to put in the bubbler, back into the reservoir and keeps the reservoir full. So as long as he keeps the bubbler side, uh, you know, full of water over here, then uh, you know he's not going to have any trouble at all with. Uh, you know, having to worry about keeping this side full of uh, water. This is a blow-off valve that uh, I've come up with. It's real easy. Um, it's a standard blow-off valve that comes off of a compressor. Well, it's 125 PSI. You can't use that, but check it out. If you take a torch and you heat around the threads here, because there's like Loctite on these, you could take a screwdriver that you grind the center out of, make like a little, like a little slot like your fingers. You drop it in there and it'll turn right out. You take the spring that came with it, pitch it, and you take a, a lighter spring, like a little 10 pound spring, stick it in there and compress it, put a fitting on you and play with it with an air compressor, get it to pop at about yeah, 10 or 15 PSI around there, and uh, then install it on your hydrogen cell and it's a self-resetting um, you know, way of having fun if you want to keep light in your cell. But it's a blow-off valve that resets. And that's what I would suggest on these. He's got metal caps. I usually put rubber caps on, but we're going metal with the blow-off valve. And there you go. Uh, I'll let you know how this install goes. I'll let you know how the NOx readings wind up being as we're running this thing on hydrogen. Um, advanced hydrogen, you all have a good one.